this video I will explain about how the impulse signal will be plotted in MATLAB yeah the impulse signal is defined only at 0 its amplitude as 1 the remaining time periods it is 0 yeah, yeah only I will repeat once again in the time period where it is 0 the time constraint there only it will define it is the amplitude is 1 the remaining places and all it is 0 yeah uh, now we will write the code for that as I uh, basic steps everyone knows I think so just write this clock layer closer then T yeah, declare the time period from where you want for example I am declaring the time period from minus 3 to 0 0.001 to 100 yeah. next what I told as I told yeah at zeros zeros where and all zeros is uh, declared in the impulse signal at size of t at all the t constant it is defined as zero excluding at d equal to zero now we will declare the d uh, d at t equal to equal to zero then it is one yeah now use a subplot subplot four comma four comma five now plot for getting continuous waveform declare the time period then D we declare it as D yeah here in subplot just I need 2 comma 1 I am using 1 1 for discrete signal and 1 for continuous signal now I am using the first one first graph for continuous impulse signal now at 9 now I want to declare the labels for x for x axis oh, label is get as time y label get amplitude give it as amplitude then the title continuous impulse signal uh, now run this save before that save in D here in TSC impulse I'm going yeah it's set now run the program yeah, at only zero it is defined at the remaining places it doesn't defined as the same way we'll do it in we'll check for discrete discrete signal just copy the 
quote till this to C in control V just modify your instead of plot give stem and also the change subplot first value we are first group we are using for the continuous impulse response and second group we are using for the discrete impulse response save then run the program we'll get the waveform as same now where's the wave just a minute run the program something went wrong just here mm. yeah, here we can check the the command window we can check the value it's running it's running let's keep on a minute from minus 3 to 100 I declared it as 0 at 0 the amplitude is 1 this is what we need yeah, this is a perfect impulse signal we'll check it here the values how the implementation step by step step by step if we didn't give in the editor editor window if we didn't give colon here after the equation or anywhere else it will directly execute the final answer it won't execute the steps and all this is all this is a perfect impulse response continuous and discrete model